Renee and you're watching Beyond Grenade today and today I'm going to show you how I get my big curly hair to fit under a wig. Now as you can see my hair is kind of wet and damp right now because this is the easiest way for me to manipulate my curls and make them all compact as possible. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is look at the wig you have and see where the part is on the wig. Today I'm going to be using this wig. Ooh, look at that length though. I got a really pretty Rihanna inspired ombre wig. This is my first time branching out with like a different color so I'm kind of excited to try it on. And this wig is from Diva's Wigs. So this one in particular has a middle part. So just like the wig, I made a part right down the middle. If your wig has a side part, then go ahead and make a part on the side. Depending on where you usually wear your hair, that is going to be where you want to part your wig. Now, since we are sending our curls on a little vacation, I like to make sure that my curls have a pina colada and are just relaxing on the beach the whole time. Meaning, I like to add a little bit of coconut oil so they are very moisturized when I take off the wig and I style my hair once again. But if you don't have coconut oil, you also could use any type of essential oils that benefit hair. And I'm actually going to give a little shout out to one of my subscribers, Corey Alexis. She sent me an anti-frizz serum. So this is by Beautiful Butters. And inside her little oil concoction, she included argan oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, lavender oil, and rosemary oil, which all have their own unique benefits to natural hair, making it moisturized, helping it grow, whatever it may be. So this comes in a little dropper. I'm just gonna add a couple drops. Mix it in my hand and then put it through my hair. She said to use a dime size, but I don't really use a dime size of anything in life. I'm also going to add a few drops to my scalp. That way it can stay moisturized and not get dry under that cap. All right, now we are conditioned. Now, another thing about me is that I actually don't know how to do cornrows. I know, I failed you. But this is kind of a great little tutorial for those that can't, like me. You don't have to know how to do cornrows. If you do, it's definitely the easiest, best way because your hair is super flat and on top of your head, perfect for applying a wig. But I don't know how to do that. I'm not gonna act like I do. So now I'm gonna grab a ugly old toothbrush that I just use for my edges. And I'm going to start to slick down the baby hairs. And we're gonna keep out the ones that we want. Nice and flat. And now we're just going to braid our hair. Alrighty, then once you get to the end, just put on a little, one of those little black scrunchies. You know when you think you're so prepared for a video and then you push record and you have nothing? Yeah. That's me right now. So I'm just gonna use a bobby pin, it's fine. Now I'll do the same thing to the other side. And voila, I have my two little braids and my hair is extremely flat, which is gonna look really good when you put on the wig. So I'm just going to pull this to the other side and I'm gonna use that same bobby pin to make it flat. Attached it like so. Boom. Then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Go right underneath that braid. Take the bobby pin, and I'm gonna pin this up right here. Up right here. All right, so now that we got the hard part out the way, all you do now is put on a wig cap. Now, because I got this wig from divaswigs.com, they actually include a wig cap, which is amazing. I love when wig companies give us little freebies. Ooh, this one's like a long little one, like a little glove fishnet, like Madonna or something. So we're just gonna put this on the back of your head, and then you're gonna pull it forward. Okay, so now that I have on my cap, you see I left out a little bit of the baby hairs. That will make it easier for you to actually blend the wig in with your natural hair. All of your hair is secure. It's not gonna pop out. You got nothing to worry about. So now I have my wig ready to be put on. So now I'm gonna put my head in, putting the wig on from behind to front. 
And voila! Whoa! There we go! Now this wig is just straight out of the box. I haven't combed it. I haven't curled it. Nothing. It's just... This is how it arrived in these natural little ringlets. This wig is so long that I had to stand up to show you guys the full thing. I don't know why I got it so long. I must have just watched a Beyonce concert or something. All right, so like I said, this is how the hair arrived straight out the box. I didn't curl it, nothing. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm so against putting heat in my hair that I don't even think I own a curling iron or a straightener. So I might have to do a part two on how to actually style this hair because I got nothing to work with right now. This wig is so funny to me because all the other wigs I've gotten have been just dark brown, nothing too exciting. This is my first one where it's like a different hair color, super different length, just a completely different person. But hey, that's the fun part about wigs. You can look any way you want at any time. I got 100% Brazilian virgin hair and the hair length is 22 inches. This is super long. I probably didn't even need to get 22 inches. I'm just, this is honestly just extra. The hair color I put the same as the picture, which was a Rihanna inspired look. The hair density is 150%. The lace color is medium brown. And this is actually a full lace wig. So the cool thing about full lace wigs is that I don't even have to keep this middle part. I can do a side part if I want because this whole part right here is lace. You could change it up. So that is the cool thing about having a lace wig and the cap size is large. It was a little bit big for me, so I had to use the adjustable things, but I'd rather go big and be able to adjust it than too small, so it worked out, but I probably could have gone with a medium. Now let me tell you a little bit about my experience with divaswigs.com. When I first wanted this wig, um, they had a little inspiration photo of Rihanna. I thought it'd be cool to do an ombre type look like Riri. Now when I clicked the color, I clicked dark brown, thinking they wanted to know the color of the roots that I want. Then when the wig arrived, it was all dark brown. So I wrote them in confusion on why that happened, but they told me that was because I chose dark brown. So they sent me a dark brown wig, which does make sense. I was just thinking that if I chose an ombre wig, then I obviously wanted the ombre color, but that wasn't really the case. So just for a future reference for you guys to know, you're supposed to click exactly like the photo. So in my little even order form, it says hair color, the same as picture. Now, since this was a custom made wig, this does take about a month to order. So just keep that in mind when you do place your orders. But because I made the mistake of clicking dark brown, I actually have an extra wig lying around. So I wrote them and told them the whole spiel and they said, well, since we made a mistake, We'll let you keep the wig and you can do a giveaway. So this wig is actually great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I just already have an all dark brown wig, so I just didn't want another one. But let me show you what could be yours. So here's the wig. It is long, again, already has a natural ringlet bounce. Look at that bounce though. <laughs> Sorry, my wig is twerking. Now this wig is 100% Brazilian virgin hair as well, 22 inches. The hair color is number two, darkest brown, not the same as the picture. Inside your wig box, you will also get your very own wig cap and another cute little necklace for you to wear. Okay guys, I just checked online and I just realized that this wig is valued at $500. I'm about to give away a $500 wig. Now the reason why this wig costs $500 is because it's a full lace wig, which costs more than a lace front. It's Brazilian textured hair, it's human hair, and it also has 150 density, so it's very thick hair. There's a lot of hair on this that was put on individually on the lace. And it's 22 inches long. It's a little extra, but I went all out, so now one of you it's just gonna be extra fabulous. Now in order for you to win this wig, all you gotta do is follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. then you will see this photo. When you find this photo, leave me a comment, let me know why you wanna win, and also include what state you live in. You have to have a US address in order for me to send this to you because I will be shipping this myself and I ain't got no international shipping money just yet, I'm sorry. But if you don't wanna wait for me to choose a winner, you just wanna order your own wig for yourself, you could totally do that. Just go to divaswigs.com, they have a huge selection of different colors and styles, and you can save 10% by using my promo code, Renee.
So that is exactly how I prep my hair for when I put on a wig. And that is how you could win your very own customized Divas wig just by following me on Instagram. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. And lately I've been doing two videos a week. So make sure you push that little bell so you are notified as soon as I post a new video. I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Is this what it feels like to be able to just brush your hair? Oh snap, this is crazy. This wig is making me want to go on stage and lip sync.